I want to bring our sons and daughters back home uh, as well. This is the longest serving war we've had. But I want to bring them back home in a way that honors the sacrifice of those who lost their lives in Afghanistan and recognizes the national treasure that the United States has spent in both lives and, and, and resources and that secures the United States in terms of its, its safety. The President is committed to high wire diplomacy without a safety net. He's interested more about the sizzle than the result. Uh, and so we have seen this take place time and time again. We've seen it with Kim Jong-un in North Korea, which has produced nothing in terms of result but has legitimized Kim Jong-un. The Taliban, who were those who gave uh, refuge to Osama bin Laden and the perpetrators of September 11th, should never be invited to Camp David, number one. They should not be a negotiation that provides for results for them without a peace that comes before. You cannot have success in Afghanistan if you're only talking to the terrorists and you're not talking to the government of, of Afghanistan. You've left the elected government of Afghanistan out of the conversation while you're talking to the Taliban. Now, I'm not against trying to find a pathway to peace. That's pretty obvious. But you're not going to have peace if those who commit the acts of terror uh, and constantly are creating bombings like the one that recently claimed the life of a U.S. service member, and you're not even talking to the elected legitimate government that will have to deal with them afterwards. So this is all about the president you know, going ahead and, 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 and creating issues that I think create a greater risk for our national security. Now the situation is worse than what it was before. The Taliban will now act in a way that is even more reprisals, more consequential. Uh, and I, I think that, that uh, this is another example of an incredibly failed foreign policy under this administration. I say that as a senior ranking Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. I, I wish I was applauding the administration on these critical issues, not criticizing them. But I just see we, we create, we, this administration has created greater risks for us. Has it made the world safer? Has it made it more secure? Uh, and is constantly engaged in the t type of diplomacy where the president thinks he's in a reality show trying to make the art of the deal when, in fact, the, the art of peace uh, and security is far more difficult than the art of the deal.